Hey, what's going on guys? It is Earthmaster here. August 18th, 2017. 7.34 p.m. here on the West Coast and uh, got a pretty good sizable earthquake that came in to the Earthquake 3D system uh, right now. A 6.4 near the Fiji Islands. Pretty good size earthquake right there as you can see right here on the globe. And actually rather deep as well. Let me show you guys here on this on the map that I'm looking at. Uh, really deep 6.4 earthquake 538 kilometers below the surface of the earth uh, pretty deep no tsunami statement with this system or with this event uh, with it being so deep like that uh, which is uh, a good thing it didn't happen uh, closer to the surface but even then uh, 6.4 may not produce a, uh, a tsunami but uh, yeah, rather rather deep earthquake and uh, rather large as well. Taking a look at the seismograph stations here. Uh, well, we will be seeing some P waves if they haven't hit already within these stations. It looks like a lot of these stations have already been hit from that uh, uh, 6.4 earthquake in the Fiji Islands region. So... The earth will be uh, ringing like a bell just for a little bit longer from this deep earthquake. And um, like I say, once again, luckily it was uh, fairly, uh, you know, with it being really deep like that, that's a good thing. Less damage towards the surface of the earth, that is. But uh, other than that, while I'm on here real quick, looking at the rest of the globe there, we had seen some... Uh, deeper movement as well not as big uh, a couple days ago there we had uh, a couple fours I believe maybe a five within uh, 600 kilometers below the surface there in the Fiji region so we definitely seen some deep movement activity uh, in that region there over the past couple days and now a larger 6.4 striking very deep within that location as well uh, at 500 and uh, what was it 560 kilometers there so or 535 but I can't can't remember exactly here I would have to check the map again but either way it's a lot of a lot of deep movement within there 538 right there uh, as far as the rest of the globe goes um, I haven't really had time to look at it uh, but taking a look at it uh, still some deep movement over uh let's see here what's this area right here let's go ahead and take a look at these fours here those are fairly deep not super deep like the one uh, that just occurred but uh, nonetheless some uh, deep movement over there near afghanistan afghanistan 230 kilometers below the surface there um so some deep movement out there around the globe there's that 6.6 .6 that occurred last night a uh, fairly shallow event over there near the Ascension Island region. No tsunami uh, warning or statement from that uh, earthquake yesterday or last night. Little bit of activity standing out to me right now um, with that 3.2 over here near the New Madrid fault zone area. Uh, 3.2 near Porta, Porta, what's that? Porta, Porta Gage Village? Portageville. I don't know. I suck at pronunciations. But uh, in Missouri, uh, over there around the New Madrid fault line, so 12 kilometers below surface, a little bit of activity going on in that part of the country, uh, which we will watch for any type of further movement. Um, as always there, that's a potentially active, dangerous fault system over there, uh, very capable of producing some very large earthquakes. Uh, in that region there it's just been a while since they've had any so yeah that 6.4 is very very deep it's standing out uh, pretty large right there so all right guys we're gonna jump uh, out, out of here and get this video up on the net for the uh, the ones that may not be watching the live stream and uh, I will be back later on uh, throughout the night tonight it is Friday night and I have nothing better to do than sit at home and um, you know talk earthquakes so i'll be back here in a little bit sit tight um 
hope everyone had a good week so far and um, yeah the weekend's just beginning so hopefully uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the eclipse on Monday um, I will be in Oregon in a very prime spot for the total eclipse viewing which I will be live streaming here on this channel so make sure you click the little bell and the subscribe button for notifications when I start going live Monday morning. It will probably start around 7 a.m. and live stream through the whole event. Uh, and uh, we'll see how she goes. Hopefully everything works out good. And uh, I know it's going to be an awesome site. So that's kind of why I want to share it out there. If you're, if you're not able to uh, view it yourself. Uh, definitely tune in to the live stream Monday morning.